role can be summed up in few simple words. We would like the internet to stay an open, collaborative place where people can innovate without permission, where ideas, uh, policies, concepts can flow unencumbered. We call it the frictionless internet. We want an internet with minimum policy frictions, minimum content frictions, and with knowledge for everyone to participate and benefit from the great value the internet provides. So at ICANN specifically, we are making sure that the bottom-up policy development model with all stakeholders involved in every decision we make, governments, businesses, civil society, technical players, all of us together agreeing on how to evolve the internet so it remains the power and the force it is for human solidarity and economic progress. Now, beyond ICANN, which is only responsible for some technical matters, I think the questions that are swirling around who governs all the non-technical uh, policy issues surrounding the internet is now very important. And we're frankly entering a phase where if we do not have real solutions for all the stakeholders to address the core issues of internet governance, then we might find ourselves in a situation where governments or intergovernmental organizations step in with force to actually control the internet. We believe the impact of this will be significant. The economic impact will be huge. A recent study by the Boston Consulting Group showed that governments that put a lot of friction on the internet use in their countries can incur up to a two and a half points of GDP impact on their economies. This is significant. So we hope all the actors come together and cooperate to create an internet governance model that is distributed, open, and does not have any actor controlling the outcome.